Hi, I'm Ashley, and this is Mia. In this video, we'll learn about subordinating conjunctions. Are you ready? Let's go. You've already learned that conjunctions join words, phrases, and clauses together, like peanut butter and jelly. Play a game or watch a show. Not this, but that. Remember, coordinating conjunctions join words, phrases, or clauses that are of equal importance or the same type. The seven coordinating conjunctions are for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. Also known as the fanboys. There's another type of conjunction called subordinating conjunctions. Subordinating conjunctions include words like when, while, although, because, if, once, and sometimes even word combinations like now that and as long as. Subordinating conjunctions join dependent clauses to independent clauses. Dependent clauses are also known as subordinate clauses because they always begin with a subordinating conjunction. You can spot dependent clauses because subordinating conjunctions are always found at the beginning of a dependent clause. As a matter of fact, the subordinating conjunction is the very thing that causes that clause to become dependent. Let's take a look at the sentence. Fen went to the ropes course. We know that this is a clause because it has a subject, fin, and a verb, went, which indicates a predicate. And we know that this is an independent clause because it can stand alone as a sentence. But what if we add the word when to the beginning of this clause? It's still a clause because it still has a subject and a verb, but it's no longer independent. It's now a dependent clause. And to form a complete sentence, we have to add it to an independent clause. Like, when Finn went to the ropes course, she wore her safety gear. The word when is a subordinating conjunction and adding it to the beginning of our independent clause made the clause dependent. Let's look at another one. Teresa is a great gymnast. That's an independent clause. If we add the subordinating conjunction because, we turn it into a dependent clause. Because Teresa is a great gymnast, can no longer stand alone as a sentence. It needs to be attached to an independent clause, like, because Teresa is a great gymnast, she wins many awards. There is not an exact number of subordinating conjunctions because many words that act as a subordinating conjunction also act as other parts of speech in different contexts. And sometimes we combine words to form subordinating conjunctions. Oh. However, the most commonly used subordinating conjunctions are after, although, as, when, while, until, before, because, if, and since. We can remember those words if we remember awubis. <laughs> That's a nonsense word, but it can help you remember these subordinating conjunctions. Awubis. <laughs> That's fun to say. Let's practice adding subordinating conjunctions to sentences. Blank, I prove that I am responsible. My parents said we can get a puppy. 
Remember those awoobus words? Which one fits in this sentence? I think if I proved that I'm responsible would make sense here. Let's try another. Blank Marissa made cookies. She washed the dishes. Hmm. Think about those commonly used subordinating conjunctions. I think after would work well in this sentence. After Marissa made cookies, she washed the dishes. Okay, last one. Blank, we walked along the beach. We collected shells. Hmm. I like as we walked along the beach, we collected shells. Let's review what we've learned. Subordinating conjunctions join dependent clauses to independent clauses, and subordinating conjunctions can always be found at the beginning of a dependent clause. That's why dependent clauses are also known as subordinate clauses. Finally, the most commonly used subordinating conjunctions are after, although, as, when, while, until, because, before, if, and since, or a woo bis. <laughs> That's a clever way to remember them, and we know we should always be clever. Hey.